Hello, I'm Dr. Brent Gibson, and today I want to take a step further into peripheral neuropathy. As you know, we're actually reviewing and getting you back into the an, under, better understanding of peripheral neuropathy itself. And quick reminder, peripheral neuropathy is a disease process or a malfunction of the nerves of the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is made up of all the nerves that are outside the brain and spinal cord. <clears throat> and these nerves when they start to malfunction can cause one of four different types of peripheral neuropathy. It can be a small fiber sensory, large fiber sensory, motor or autonomic type neuropathies or any combination thereof. That being said, you need to understand a little bit more about large fiber sensory neuropathy. Large fiber sensory neuropathy is probably, um, I guess I'd probably say the second most common type of peripheral neuropathy for which people seek help from the doctor. Um, it, is, it is quite common. I would say most likely that small fiber neuropathy is probably the most common. Autonomic neuropathy is second and large fiber neuropathy is third, but it's probably the second most common reason why, they'll go, why they will go to the doctor because <clears throat> most individuals will not go to be seen for autonomic neuropathy because they don't know they should. Um, so large fiber sensory neuropathy, large fiber sensory neuropathy involves the large fiber nerves, the larger nerves of the body. These are typically the nerves that are closer to the spinal cord. They're not as far away as say the small fiber nerves would be. These large fiber nerves are made up of two types of nerve fibers, a alpha nerve fibers and a beta nerve fibers. Both of these types of nerve fibers, like we said, are large nerves. They're also myelinated. Uh, when it comes to sensory nerves, there are four types, A alpha, A beta, A delta, and C fibers. And the A alpha and A beta make up the large fiber nerves and they are the myelinated nerves. Uh, so let's go into a little bit about myelin. Why, why would a nerve be myelinated? Because these are large nerves, they're usually longer and the signals have to travel further. One of the ways to speed up that process to allow to travel easier at these longer distances is to myelinate or line the nerves. Um, and what that allows to do is allows the signal to move more quickly. Um, we'll go more into this at another time, probably when we're talking about the malfunctions of the nerves, but in this myelin sheath, when you get this myelin sheath, it allows the signals to move more quickly, but it also gives more areas where an injury or malfunction can happen. If the myelin sheath is missing and you slow down the signal, for example, you're gonna get less functioning of those large fiber nerves. So large fiber neuropathy, it's large fiber nerves of the body, it's a sensory neuropathy, it affects the A alpha, A beta, the nerves that are, that, um, are myelinated. Um, and it's a little bit harder to treat there's less treatments that can actually be done for this. I'd, typical treatments, if I were to start with, I'd say, okay, what can we do for large fiber neuropathy? One of the types, uh, one of the treatments that we will typically look at is uh, certain types of ex exercise. Exercise can actually be very, very valuable for large fiber neuropathy, especially if you do exercises in the form of Dr. Uh, Stuart McGill, who, who teaches exercises to strengthen the back and to treat some of those nerve type issues coming from the back directly. They also work really well for large fiber neuropathy. Um, MLS laser or laser treatments also work really well for large fiber sensory neuropathy. Nutrition, not necessarily vitamins themselves, but overall nutrition is very valuable when it comes to large fiber peripheral neuropathy. So if you have large fiber neuropathy, then you want to be evaluated for that. The best ways to evaluate for large fiber neuropathy are the, uh, the <laughs> nerve conduction velocity test. Sorry about that. Nerve conduction velocity test and the EMG, the muscle, te the muscle tests. Those will usually help you diagnose a large fiber neuropathy. This is usually the only test that a lot of doc doctors will do looking for peripheral neuropathy. So most of the time when it's diagnosed as neuropathy, large fiber sensory neuropathy is one of the neuropathies that is happening. So 
you have peripheral neuropathy, you need to find out if you have large fiber sensory neuropathy. There are ways you can treat it. There are ways that you can actually manage it. And knowing this information can be very, very valuable as you direct your treatments. So Dr. Brant Gibson, this is your neuropathy nugget day 400, large fiber sensory neuropathy and the ways that you